There was a video a while back that I have released where I talked about being very excited about a very specific project which involved 3D printing. Now, in order to tell this story fully, let's go back a few months when Elon Musk announced that he's releasing the Tesla Cybertruck. Welcome to the Cybertruck unveil. I really loved the Tesla Cybertruck. I thought it was an awesome car, far more different than the ordinary, but I knew that I couldn't order one myself because I'm pretty much broke. I can't afford to get a nice car, especially a car like that. So me being the person I am, I always try and find ways about things so you know I can end up getting to the goal that I want but not necessarily getting exactly what I might you know desire and so I thought you know what let me build my own Tesla Cybertruck now obviously I'm not a car mechanic or a car engineer so I can't build it myself but I am a software engineer so I came up with the idea of building a miniature version of the Cybertruck that's remote controlled and putting all different types of hardware inside so I can control it from my phone or through a web application. Well, at least that was the idea. Now, here is what happened. In order to build this model Cybertruck, I had to design it first. I had to be able to have a physical 3D model that I can print. And it so happened that I actually have a very, very talented modeling artist, which is one of my really good friends that I kind of reached out and asked for help. And he very kindly agreed. Now I had a vision in my head of how I wanted this model Cybertruck to look, how I kind of wanted to build it and what kind of things I wanted to put inside. And with the help of my very good friend, we put that idea into actual physical practice. We sat down and we started with a basic model and we made the whole Tesla Cybertruck in 3D and Blender. We sculpted it, we shaped it, we picked specific components that we want to put into the car, which we had to find blueprints and charts of the actual measurements and put those into Blender to make sure that they would actually fit into the car. We also went ahead to design how the car would drive, if it would even have an axis, or what kind of components would fit it best, so then I can actually not only put them in and make them work, but I can write some code to make those components actually function, and then be able to communicate with that car and those components. Now, there were many parts that I wanted to put inside this model Tesla Cybertruck. I knew I wanted an Arduino ESP32 board, which has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities to allow me to control that car and tell the car and tell certain different components connected to that ESP32 to do certain things, like drive forward and drive backwards and turn the lights on. And generally, I wanted to create as close of a replica of the Cybertruck as I possibly could. Now, everything seemed to be falling into place. I had friends who were able to help me out, and I also had my university, which offered free 3D printing services. And I thought, well, this can't go any better. I have all the resources I need, and I can just do whatever I want with the project and I can build it and I can actually make this thing work, make it become a reality. Well, at least that's what I thought. Now, don't get me wrong, I was faced with a lot of limitations to this project. First of all, my university only had very basic 3D printing machines. They were quite small and didn't really have much space to fit a big design on. And because we matched the Cybertruck that we designed in Blender, to the specific component parts that I would order, like the engines that would drive the wheels, it turned out being quite big, around 35 centimeters, in fact. Now, the other limitations of this whole build and the other problems that we had was how long it took for each piece to actually print. Now, because those printers weren't some fancy modern technology of 3D printers, which are super fast, it took almost eight hours per piece to print each part of this Tesla Cybertruck. It wasn't just as easy to 
go to my university and tell them, hey, I want to print this, and they just whacked it on straight away and got it over and done with. There were so many students that were waiting to print something that you actually had to wait in the queue. So timing was a huge issue here. In order to print three or four pieces, it spanned over a month and a half for me to get those finalized. Now, there was much more problems than just that. The first print that we have done unfortunately failed two hours into the printing process. So we had to completely cancel that and I had to book another slot with the printing services at my university. Now, the second printing attempt passed on building the front part of the Cybertruck, but it failed at printing the wheels for some reason. And then I had to reprint all of those wheels again. Then we moved on to the back top part of the Cybertruck. It seemed to print fine, but then when I matched up the two pieces, they didn't fit. It was a failed print yet again. And yet again, another big setback in the project. Now, clearly this was wasting my university resources and I had to come up with another alternative to be able to print those pieces. What I've learned from this experience is that the smaller the 3D printing piece is, the more success that we can have at actually printing it, and therefore, if a piece was to fail, it wouldn't be a whole wasted eight hours, but a much shorter period of time. So then, I had to take things into my own hands. I didn't know how to use Blender myself, but I had to learn to manipulate all the pieces of the Tesla truck and to be able to cut the pieces and prepare them for printing. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a while to understand how Blender works, but I finally got it. I had the two pieces ready and I was ready to print it and finally get it done so I will have all the pieces and I'll be able to put the whole thing together. But then another really big obstacle came in the way and the pandemic happened. They closed my university, they closed the 3D printing services at my university and I had nowhere to print and finish off my project. It sucked. My project was finished until I go back to university. But this whole thing spanned for such a long time, I graduated before I finished printing, which means I waited for like another four months and nothing happened. Now I looked into other services online, online printing services, sending my designs over to them, but everything is so expensive when you can 3D print that I just didn't have the money to pursue that. So what happened after that? What is the moral of this story? Have I finished the Tesla Cybertruck? No, I haven't. It's at this stage where I left it. I wish I could work on it, but currently I can't. I'm, I'm lacking the physical help and resources that I can get to actually make this possible. Will I finish building the Tesla truck? Absolutely yes. It's something that I really want to do and I think it's something that's super cool that has not yet been done before. The blender design we have is excellent. The, the whole design process that I came up with I think is also really good. And the whole part of being able to put this together and share it with you guys was my main motivation. To show you how you can take an idea, put it into practice, put your skills into it, code it and make it work and give you a final product. If you know anyone who has a 3D printer or someone who can help me 3D print this, please reach out to my email, please reach out to my social media. I'd be so happy to hear from you and maybe we can work together to make this happen. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this little story, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. We've been doing so freaking well on YouTube recently. You guys have been seriously smashing it, so I really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, welcome, you know, smash the subscribe button. I have a lot of new cool things coming up that you guys will hopefully learn from and enjoy. And for now, guys, as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.